everybody, it's Sue from Minimats. Really good to be with you and I've brought along my friend today, my friend Ted. Ted wanted to meet you. Hi Ted. Hi everyone. Yeah, but Ted has a story for us to listen to today. But before we do the story, let's sit, let's sit him down and we'll sing to him. Open, shut them, open, shut them, give a little clap. Open, shut them, open, shut them, lay them in your lap. Creep them, creep them, creep them, creep them, right up to your chin. Open wide your little mouth, do not let them in. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them just like this. Roll them, roll them, roll them, roll them. Blow a little kiss. Oh, I miss you all. Hey, Ted, how was that? Okay, Ted says, time for story. Are you ready? Our story today is called Wonderfully Madison. It's a very big book. Madison arrived at Grandma's and she had her red wheelie suitcase, her floppy red hat and a present for the baby. A present she didn't want to give away. When Mum and Dad sped away, off to the hospital, Madison pouted. She was not happy. When Grandma served her cheese on toast with strawberry milk, Madison made faces in the shiny toaster. Oh, look, if you never smile, said Grandma, no one's going to know that you've got teeth. But Madison just scowled and the baby's present sat nodding on the shelf, all soft and pink and new. Did you know that God made, you, made me, Grandpa asked. Hmm? He made my nose. He made my toes, he even made my legs. Legs are good for walking with, said Grandma. And legs are good for stomping with, said Grandpa. And he swung Madison down from the bench and they started stomping. Well, they stomped all around the kitchen, through the lounge and out onto the deck. Stomp, 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 until all the pl plants started rocking. Hmm. Grandpa grinned, Grandma smiled, but Madison's lips were sticky tape straight, like that. Did you know that God made me? asked Grandma. He made my nose, he made my toes, and he even made my fingers. Fingers are good for poking, said Madison. Yeah, but fingers are good for digging. She handed Madison a bucket and led her down the garden. Together, they dug in the damp dirt looking for bait worms. Big, round, slippery ones. Dig, dig, dig until the bucket was full and even the kookaburras came to help. Grandma smiled. Grandpa grinned. But Madison stayed garden rake straight. On the way to the beach, Madison got thinking about birds and bees and brand new babies. Did God make me as well? She asked. Did he make my nose, my toes? Did he even make my tummy? Your tummy, said Grandma with a giggle in her eyes. Your tummy, asked Grandpa with a sparkle in his grin. Yeah, my tummy is good for rolling on, Madison said. Your tummy is also good for tickling, cried Grandma and Grandpa, and they started tickling. They tickled her tummy and they tickled her nose. They tickled her fingers and they tickled her toes. Tickle, tickle, tickle until Madison couldn't stop laughing. Yes, God made you, Grandpa said, and you are wonderfully, wonderfully made. For the rest of the morning, Madison and Grandma and Grandpa sat fishing. They ate Vegemite sandwiches and orange quarters, and then they walked back to the house. When they got there, Dad was waiting by the car. He had a great big grin on his face, and he was bursting with baby news. Well, Grandpa beamed, and Grandma danced. But Madison 
pulled her hat down over her eyes and frowned and her lips were front gate straight. Come on, I'll take you to see the baby. He lifted Madison into the car, did up her seatbelt. Grandma shook the sand off the baby's present, handed it to Madison. And Madison and the baby sat together all the way to the hospital. And when they got to mum's room, dad put Madison up on the bed so she could see the new baby. The baby was scrunching her face and scowling just like Madison had done. And the baby was kicking her feet under the blanket, just like she wanted to stomp about the room. Madison pulled the present from behind her back. Did you know that God made me? Madison asked her mum. He made my nose. He made my toes. He even made my little sister. Madison held out the present all soft and pink and almost new. This is for you, my baby, she whispered. And when Grandpa and Grandma arrived later to take a photo, Madison's lips were jelly bean bent and everyone could see that she did have teeth. Oh, wow, what a beautiful story about Madison and her little baby. But do you know that God loves you just the same and he made you too? So let's thank God for making us all wonderfully and beautifully. Dear God, thank you for making us wonderfully and beautifully. Thank you for making all the children who come to Minimats look after them, take care of them, and we love you, God. Amen. Let's have a look what we're making today. Our craft to go with our Madison story is a little person. This could be you or it could be Madison with a big face, with eyes that God made, a nose, a mouth, lots of hair, some legs and some arms. Jesus is my friend. And do you know? Jesus is my friend too. We'll see you next time. Bye.